Welcome to week three of the Illustriad, where J. Johnny representing Zeus and the Thunder Pantheon are throwing down against Magnitude representing Poseidon and the Water Pantheon. This one's gonna be a doozy. I really like that deck profiles and those deck builders. So if you haven't checked it out, it'll be in the description below. Let's show some love and hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe for more Illustriad. J. Johnny's bringing thunder. He's got the strategy with Spark It leading the Illustriad in Nexus activations. And he's also got those Veritaqua, which I think could prove to be very useful against Magnitude's defensive water Elestrals. Now, Magnitude, on the other hand, is bringing a little bit of wind this week with both Sorlets, Pegas, Bag of Winds, Chrysor, and Aeromares. But don't forget, he's got plenty of water Elestrals mixed in there, utilizing those big, big, big defenses of things like Galaxy and Mustation, which get flopped under the condition of Galaxy's effect. This one should be a good one. So strap in, grab some popcorn, and let's dive into the clash. All right, let's dive into this clash here. Jay Johnny's going to be kicking things off, and it looks like he is going to be going for a mulligan here. That means he's going to expend two spirits to return the five cards from his hand back to his deck, shuffle, and then ultimately draw five new cards. Now, you can do this to start off a clash if you don't like your hand, and you can actually do it infinite times. You can mulligan over and over again. Well, I guess until you run out of spirits. But in this context, Johnny is going to do a one time. He's going to lose two spirits to do so. And then rather than casting an Elestral this turn, he's going to expend a spirit to draw an additional card. So he's seen a lot of cards so far in this clash. And Magnitude's already up three spirits. And the clash has just begun. So Magnitude ready to take his turn now up 20 to 17. Johnny puts himself in an early hole. And Magnitude's going to set a rune face down. You often look to see that to be a Tsunami. Uh, that's generally the counter rune that Magnitude is going to try to utilize. He's also got some Shield of Achilles and things like that. So we'll see how that plays out. And he's got a turn one Foamy here. A really good opportunity for Magnitude to try to get into this game, try to set some things up, and maybe get a little bit of an advantage here. Foamy can float out to another Water Elestral and give him a significant advantage in this early game. But removal could really foil that plan. Let's listen in on Johnny. Hey, first will be an Earthquake. What does that do? Destroy an Elestral. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Okay. It's that one, I assume? Yes. Okay. And then I'll activate Thunderstorm as well. Okay. okay. Yeah, get rid of that tsunami. Yeah, um, one, of my, one, of my, one of my seven that I'm bringing. I will set two cards face down and I will cast Toxion. It's effect. Sure, what does that do? It's effect like Sorry. You'll, you'll have to expend one spirit on cat, uh, whenever it receives a thunder spirit. Okay, which was right then. Yes. I assume. I'm gonna choose a water spirit, and then I'll attack you directly for one. Oh, okay. Well, gonna... A huge play for Johnny, who started off this clash a little slow, being forced to mulligan going expend the draw, but it works out in his favor as he's able to earthquake the foamy, which is huge, foiling the plans of magnitude. And then he thunderstorms the tsunami exactly as we thought removing that counter rune threat although it wouldn't have been super a big deal there i mean at the end of the day you know johnny's down quite a few spirits and manitude has still has quite a few left but that was a really really big play from johnny running both thunderstorm and earthquake there we're gonna see a tornado play here indicating that maybe magnitude is making a bit of a push he's gonna bounce one of these runes back to johnny's hand Generally, that's only good if you have something that can knock out this Toxion here, right? So he doesn't know which of the two runes is going to be the biggest threat, but let's see what he's going to do. He's got a Water Spirit, and he's going to throw a Sluggle down into defense position. That's going to allow him to regen three spirits, bring three spirits from his spirit deck back, or from his underworld back to his spirit deck. Kind of let him hang in this clash a little bit longer. He does have that face down rune. Hopefully, if you're Steve, you're hoping you have another Tsunami here. You really want to be able to kind of stop any sort of offensive onslaught from Johnny. Johnny's going to draw. He's going right to his Spirit deck, thinking about what his next play is going to be. A Fire Spirit's going to hit the field with a Necruff. This could get real bad real quick if your Magnitude as Necruff is going to force you to expend a Spirit every time it destroys an Elestral in battle. Let's find out if Magnitude has anything face down that can deal with this attack. And it does. he does not. He is going to take the attack directly to the face, and now he is going to be forced to expend some spirits as a result, as a Sluggle only rocking two defense, not able to hold it down, and Magnitude takes down some damage there. He's going to take a handful of spirits on that one, the attack directly from Toxion, as well as the expend from the Necruff. And Jay Johnny started off a little slow here, right? But was able to kind of get right back in this clash, 
And now he has quite an advantage. Apigas hits the field. This is going to be able to remove that back row from Johnny, which is a Trident of Poseidon. Really cool tech from Johnny. For those who don't know, Trident of Poseidon could be used on Johnny's end if Magnitude had Poseidon on the field to stop Magnitude from using counter runes. Really, really cool deck building from Johnny. It doesn't end up working out in this case, but really cool strategy on his end as a way to deal with this exact you know, matchup of facing off against a water deck. And this is kind of some of the stuff that I envisioned when I came up with the idea for the Elestriad. This idea that if you know what cards your opponent has, you can bring some really cool tech. You can bring some really cool ideas to like kind of counter, you know, deck build against uh, against people. And this is another card, right? Trident of Poseidon, Veritaqua. These two cards, ex perfect examples of that. Jay Johnny doing it very well. Veritaqua able to get through Tsunami. So even if Steve has a Tsunami, it's not going to be able to matter here. But he has Shield of Achilles, actually. So Shield of Achilles is going to cost Steve a couple spirits. He's going to bounce back that Necroft to make sure he takes a little less damage here. He's still going to take one spirit of damage from the Toxion as the Veritaqua can clear the Pegus there. And if you're Steve, you're looking for a big play. You got two back row you got to deal with. Johnny's got plenty of counter runes in his deck. He's got two Gorgon's Gaze. He's got two shields. Obviously, Johnny not running any sort of Tsunami. So you're not going to have to worry about that. But it's pretty likely that one of those face down runes on Johnny's end is either a Gorgon's Gaze or a Shield of Achilles. So Mattitude going to take a look at his options here and see what kind of a play he can make. I'm not quite sure what his options are. Losing that foamy turn one was huge. And then obviously losing that Tsunami also huge, right? Like those plays make such a difference at this point in the clash as he's unable to kind of get back into it. I think he expended to draw. And now Johnny's going to go again. Manitude seemingly has no answers. Another Thunder Spirit hits the field. It's an Astrava into attack position. That's going to just give Johnny even more of an advantage. Going to look at the top three cards of his deck and adding one to his hand here. And that's just going to set up more opportunities for him to stack up his strategies. As Manitude is sitting here with an empty field. That tells me that Manitude is probably sitting on some two or three cost Celestials that he's not able to cast. He's going to expend a few more Spirits. He's down to just six. Johnny's at eight. It's not like it's impossible to come back here, but Magnitude is going to need to mount some field presence if he wants to do anything in this clash. Let's see what he's got going on here. Does he have a play? Does he have any sort of an answer for Johnny's onslaught at this point? We haven't really seen anything from Magnitude so far. It's been a rough go for Magnitude in the Illustriad. He is going to expend to draw again with only five spirits left. This is not looking good. I think we just have to do a listen in here and find out what's going on with Magnitude. I can do nothing. All right, Michael. Yep. All right, Troll, uh, I will cast a Spark It. Sure. Spark It effects on Nexus from Astrap to Toxion. Mm hmm. Toxion's effect, it receives a Thunder. You'll take one point of damage. You have how many spirits in the board? I have four. You win. I will attack directly, bringing you to zero. Yep, and I got nothing to play. What was your hand? Uh, I had Pad Puff, Bear Takwa, Majesty, Atlantis, Aphoros, uh, and Altar of Stars. And then, uh, yeah. So the camera is sliding a bit. <laughs> yeah. So it seemed that Magnitude did have some options in his hand. We saw the Tad Puff, we saw the Aphros. There was a couple things there, but some of those may have came on this last turn or from his expended draws, which would explain why he wasn't able to utilize those cards to ultimately get the advantage. J. Johnny got an early advantage. That Earthquake on the Foamy was huge. And when you're running three Earthquakes, it's no surprise that you could execute a strategy like that. Magnitude struggles again to gain any sort of an advantage. But in all fairness, this was a pretty tough matchup for him. Congratulations to Jay Johnny for advancing to two and one going into week four. Make sure you guys show some love and hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for more Illustriad. We got plenty of clashes this week. We'll see you soon.